Hi there, it's Mr. Graham and we're going to have a quick look at how we can find the halfway number between a given set of values or a given set of numbers. So in the example we've got on screen we've been given the number 11 and we've been given the number 25 and we want to find out which number is exactly halfway between those two numbers. In other words, which number is exactly in the middle between 11 and 25. Now probably the easiest way to do this is a very very simple process that involves two steps. Step number one is to take both numbers and to add them. So as you can see on screen I'm doing a very simple very quick column addition. So when I add them I get a total of 36. Now to find the middle value, to find the number that's exactly halfway, I'm going to take the sum of the two numbers, the total of the two numbers when they're added together, and I'm going to half it. Now there's two different ways I could do this. To half a number, we could literally divide it by 2, because halving simply means dividing by 2. Let's do that first of all. How many 2's? are in 3. Well, if I count my 2 times tables underneath, I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I'll stop there, but I could continue. So how many 2's are in 3? I've got 1, 2 in 3. And 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. So that leaves me 1 left over. So I carry forward that 1 into my next column. And now I ask myself, how many 2's are in 16? I've got 1, 2, 2 2's, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2, 6 times 2, 7 times 2, 8 times 2. And there we've got our answer. So just to recap on what I did there, I took the sum of the two numbers, I added them together. 11 add 25 gave me a total of 36. The green arrow showing you that there. I took the 36 and then halved it. And halving simply means dividing by 2. So the middle number was 18. Now the second way that I could have halved the number, if I just shrink the screen and move it up a bit, the second way I could have halved 36 was by partitioning. I could have taken each of the digits and halved it. What's half of 6? 3. What's half of 13? Now that 3 is 30, it's very important to remember that that's three tens. So what's half of 30? Well, half of 20 is 10. Half of 30 is 15. And I could add those two numbers. 15 out of 3 would give me 18. And you'll notice that the 18 matches up with the 18 here and there. So the simple step, the simple steps to find a halfway number. Step 1 add the two numbers. Step two, half the numbers. Let's look at another example with a larger number to check that it works. So we're given two numbers and this time we're given two much larger numbers 5,600 and 6,200. So what number is exactly halfway between these two values. Step one, we're going to add the numbers. So let's add the numbers. 5,600, add 6,200. Let's find the sum of the two numbers. Let's add the two numbers. Quick column addition will give us 11,800. So now that we've added the numbers, the second step 
is having my answer. So I'm going to take my answer and we're going to half it. Do, 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 do. Sorry about the singing, just in a good mood tonight. Okay. Halving, or halving, remember, means dividing by 2. Let's divide 11,800 by 2. Look at the first digits. How many 2s are in 1? There are no 2s in 1. Let's prove it. Let's write out the 2 times tables. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I'll stop there, but I could continue. How many 2s are in 1? The answer is 0. But I've still got that one left, so I carry it forward into the next column. How many 2s are in 11? Well, let's just check. 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2. 5 2s are 10, but I started with 11, so I've still got one left. I need to remember to carry that one forward with me. How many 2s are in 18? Let's check. 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2, 6 times 2, 7 times 2, 8 times 2, 9 times 2. 9 2s are 18 exactly. I've got none left. How many 2s are in 0? How many 2s are in 0? So there's my answer. Half of 11,800, as you can see being circled now, half of it is 5,900. There's your middle value using the same two steps. Let's recap on those two steps. Firstly, we added the two numbers. We found the sum of the two numbers. We added them. That gives us 11,800. We then halved that answer. We have the sum of the two numbers and half of 11,800 gave us 5,900. We'll look at one final example and again we'll stick with larger numbers and that may be beneficial to us. So two new values. Let's try 13,650 and um, let's try 13,750. Step one, have a quick think. Can you remember what step one was? Step one, we need to find the sum of the two numbers. In other words, we need to add the two numbers together. Let's add them together. A quick column addition. Add them together. I carry my 10 up above. Some of you may carry your 10 below. Do, 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 do. Great job. And there we've got the sum of the two numbers. 27,400. Can you remember what step two is? We've added the numbers, we've found the sum of the two numbers. Step two, we now need to have our answer. So let's half 27,400. Now how do we half any number? What does halving mean? It means we divide that number or share it equally between two. So let's half. It's always a good idea to write your times tables down to give you a bit of a head start. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now I realise that most of you, if not all of you, will know your two times tables. But if, you're, if you were dividing by a larger number like 8 or 9 or 7, again it's useful to list your times tables at the bottom to stop you having to work it out each time. It's just a quick way to do it. So it's, it's good good practice. Right, how many twos are in two? There you go, green arrow showing you, there is one times two is two. Cross it out. How many twos are in seven? One times two, two times two, three times two. 
Three twos are six, so I've got one left over from my seven. How many twos are in 14? Well, there's five twos. I'm taking shortcuts now. Six twos, seven twos. Seven twos are exactly 14, so I've got none left. How many twos are in zero? None. How many twos are in zero? None. So there's our half way value, or a number that's exactly in the middle. Our number exactly in the middle, 13,700. And just to recap on those steps one final time, to find a halfway number, to find a number that's exactly in the middle, step one, we add the numbers, or we find the sum of the numbers. Both mean the same thing. So we find the sum, we add them, and then we get our answer, and we half it. And halving a number means we divide it by two. And our answer to that second part of the calculation is our halfway number is our number exactly in the middle. I hope again this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching.